Ooh, I really need to shave my old fucking stash, man. Alright. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, gamers? So, I'm starting to actively produce content now on YouTube for the first time in over a couple of years, and during that time, I changed a lot, went through a couple ideas, mood changes, weight changes, uh, I lost a couple chromosomes. Point is, to all like 30 of you who stuck around over like two years of inactivity, you might be wondering who the fuck this girl is. And I'm gonna take this short video to tell you. Uh, consider this an update video, an announcement video, I don't know, an official trailer or something for my upcoming animated short. Crescendo. Crescendo is going to be an animated short about five minutes or so in length. It's gonna be the precursor to an upcoming project called Masked Musician Crescendo, which will be like the actual canon series with actual episodes and all that shit. The short is just to get the main character and her powers across and giving myself a testing ground to finick around with my animation skills. Uh, speaking of finally getting into it, yeah, Crescendo. Crescendo is a young adult superhero named Belle Shamison, 5'4", so she's short, and her power revolves around using instruments as weapons. So how it basically works is that anytime she picks up an instrument, she can choose to change that instrument with an energy surge, and that surge's ability changing depending on what instrument she uses it on. Uh, for example, with a trumpet, Crescendo can make small explosions come out the bell end, uh, similar to like a non-lethal caber. Uh, or, if she's using a kick drum, you know, like for uh, a drum set, she could attach it to her arm per se and uh, use it as a shield. She can make a, an energy shield out of that drum. And this energy is strengthened depending on how proficient she is with the instrument she uses. So let's say she practices with the drum set and gets better at the drums, next time she uses her kick drum, the shield she summons will get a little bigger. Uh, so it's really gonna make for some interesting training sequences, I think, where she has to balance her physical limits, as well as her proficiency in the arts, to maximize her potential. I want Crescendo to be a cross between My Hero, Spider-Verse, and all these other inspirations of mine, uh, just to make a melting pot of all things I think are cool into one series. Um, I use this example all the time. I really just want to make uh, one of those shows that I'm, I'm going off script here. Uh, I really want to make one of those shows uh, like Phineas and Ferb. What? You know, this weird comparison to make. Like, what the fuck, Phineas and Ferb? No, uh, let me let me summarize it as this, okay? I, I I'm aware Phineas and Ferb isn't the greatest show of all time, right? You know, it's it's no. It, it's no fucking Miyazaki masterpiece, but it's a it's a really good show, right? Uh, and it's one of those shows where I think back and I get nostalgic about it, and I really start to think about like the lessons and the morals the show taught me, and I start to think like, huh, I, c I kind of would be a different person without Phineas and Ferb, as stupid as that sounds, and I I I really want to you know, make that kind of the goal. I want uh, I want it to change people. Honestly, I think entertainment is one of the most powerful mediums out there. And I think we undervalue it. Oh man, I went really fucking off track there. Uh, so, Crescendo herself is very cocky and very loose about her job. She almost feels like it's just a paycheck at times. The reason for that will be revealed in the series, not the short. And uh, that'll be the same case with a bunch of different things uh, for her character traits and flaws. But I wanted her main traits to be prevalent in the short. Uh, you know, she's goofy, she's buff, she's stupid, and I care about her very much. Uh, but enough about simping over a character that I myself created. The villain of the short will be a villain exclusive to the short and not to the series, a drug deal scammer named Sweet, Sweet Spot. Um, the villains in the show will be much more... Uh, Threatening. threatening. Uh, Sweet Spot is just, he's a drug dealer, he threatened violence, he has a superpower, it's just someone for her to beat up. Uh, Sweet Spot gets his name from having a very obvious weak point that when hit will expose him and render him basically powerless. Uh, the whole point of the short is Crescendo trying to find that weakness of his to defeat him because without it, it's very hard. Uh, Sweet Spot's entire body is going to be made out of this extremely hard to damage shell of molten rock, 
uh, he's essentially going to be a, a moving tank without a gun. The short isn't going to have any big messages to it, no major character moments or story beats, it's just going to be some some goofs, some gaffs, and some action to get the main character Crescendo's name out there and all that good stuff. Uh, it's obviously not meant to be taken seriously and it won't be canon to the lore I plan on setting up once the series rolls around. I do, however, plan on having all of that previously mentioned in the upcoming series if I ever get the money to produce an animated pilot for that. Uh, or the time, because I'm, you know, becoming an adult man, uh, you know? Uh, even though the short is significantly less long compared to what most animators can do, this will be my first animated project. I've been working on it for about a year, and I think it's only about 35% done. Honestly, maybe even 30%. Uh, that being said, I don't want to yandere dev this, and I'll be trying my best to get this out by the end of 2022. And if I don't do that, expected by mid-2023 or late-2023, if I go past that point, it's it, it's too late. I fucking yandere dev'd it. Uh, upon completion of the short, I'll post it here. Uh, I'll advertise it as much as I can, maybe post it on Newgrounds too. I heard they're very uh, supportive of animators and their passions. Um, and I'm hoping that you guys will help me advertise it as well, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do it all myself. I'll advertise it as much as I can, and uh, I'll open the Crescendo Discord, assuming Discord hasn't become a corporate shell of its former self by then, you know, with, uh, with how they're doing things right now. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. Uh, and I'll start trying to scrape some money together for episode one of the series. Uh, probably while I'm doing that, I'll start actually writing down the ideas I have for it inside my head so I don't forget them and hopefully I can put it out there, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's uh, what I'll be doing unless by some miracle this YouTube thing works out and uh, that's who Crescendo is. Now that I've openly talked about her, I might start using her in more of my videos just so people aren't confused anymore. Maybe I'll use her as like a mascot for the channel, who knows? Uh, I might also be putting out some of the content I make for the series uh, because production on the music and the character design phase has started on the series because I just think it's fun. I think it's a nice little distraction so I don't get burnt out from working on the short. And I might put those out, but just know that it won't have a lot of context to it. It'll just be like, hey, here's a here's a music. Wow, cool, right? Anyway, yeah, that's an, that's pretty much the end of this update. Uh, ending it off, I just want to thank you guys for 100 views on the BTS video. Might not seem like much considering the advertising I did for it, but it's really fucking cool nonetheless. I have an amazing group of friends that are sub to me, and you guys really put the work in spreading that video around. Thank you. Putting this video out, I feel as though I'm making a commitment to releasing this short, so I'll try to work on it more from here on out. Uh, this might mean content is a little slow until I push it out, but I usually do make some projects on the side. I have a really hard time focusing on one project at a time, so smaller projects like a YouTube video help me keep uh, sane and the creative juices flowing. As for my next video, I'm not really sure yet. If you hadn't noticed, this is turning into a variety channel, just kind of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks and what doesn't. I got a couple ideas, but I need some time to think them over. Uh, but that'll do it. Thanks for listening to me go off, and uh, see ya.